I hand a quarter to the sad-faced clown who stands at the open flap door of the huge red and white striped circus tent. He rips a ticket stub and hands me half. Enjoy the show, he says. I walk into the tent, my shoes pressed down on the fresh sawdust scattered on the ground. The trail ends at the base of the metal bleachers, which surround the oval-shaped performance area on three sides. I climb the bleachers and find a great seat about halfway up. I sit down and take in the scene before me. The huge red and white canopy ceiling hangs about 300 feet above the ground. The fabric billows in the summer breeze. The two huge wooden poles reach up from the ground to greet the canopy and hold it up in the air. An acrobat platform is near the top of each pole. A tightrope stretches from one of the poles to the other. Far below the tightrope are three rings that are painted red, white, and blue. They're spaced evenly across sawdust-covered ground. The bleachers begin to fill. Young mothers and fathers corral their children who are hopped up on candy. Under the controlling watch of their parents, they try to sit quietly, bottling up their energy. When is the show going to start? Be patient. Soon. Soon. Old people fill the seats, too, their skin wrinkled and weathered. Men in baseball caps and button-down shirts and women in smartly ironed blouses, they sit quietly having small conversations between themselves. A spotlight shines from above down onto the center ring. A drum roll is heard over the loudspeakers. A large, barrel-chested man with a black handlebar mustache wearing a red coat with tails over white pants and tall black boots bellows into the microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, it gives me great pleasure to present the most fantastic show on the face of the earth, the Farber and Haber Family Circus! A small circus band launches into a jaunty march. The second the music begins, the flaps of the tent fly open and the grand parade begins. The first group of performers in the parade are the acrobats. Fit and muscular men and women in aqua blue spangled outfits leap and tumble through the air or balance delicately on proud white stallions. It looks like a procession of a proud royal family from a distant land. Again, the flaps of the tent burst open, and the band shifts into a Break All the Rules Dixieland tune. A cacophony of car horns fills the tent. Clowns of all descriptions pour into the arena. Fat clowns with wild orange hair, plaid green suits, and huge yellow shoes bump into forlorn hobo clowns wearing derby hats and ratty black jackets. The clown who handed me my ticket stub winks and waves at me. It is great! Their grease paint faces create a swirl of color like a crazy painting. They dance, wobble, stumble, teeter, and careen and race their way through the entire arena, bathing the bleachers in confetti and laughter. The last group to enter the tent are the elephants. They are huge, gray beasts with long trunks, huge flapping ears, proud white tusks, and sturdy, striding, tree trunk legs. There's something odd about these elephants, though. I'm not sure what it is, but there is definitely something curious. Before I can think it through, the show begins. Each act is more amazing than the one before. The feats of skill and agility become more and more amazing with jugglers, tightrope walkers, lions and tigers, and on and on and on. As the show builds to a crescendo, just when you think the show can't get any more exciting, the band launches into a lilting waltz. All at once, the elephants shrug their shoulders and huge, snow-white, feathery wings appear on their backs. They are magnificent, stunning. The audience gasps as the elephants firmly push with their rear legs. With a gentle billowing and flapping of their wings, they lift themselves smoothly and graciously into the air. All at once, the acrobats run into the center of the ring and form a massive, towering pyramid. 
The sparkling women balance atop the spangled men in a formation that stretches several stories into the air. One by one, the elephants swoop close to the pyramid, and an acrobat grabs hold of an elephant's leg, and the elephants pull two or three acrobats along with them in the blink of an eye. The pyramid is gone, and the elephants are transporting their passengers with the grace of ballet dancers and the speed of fighter jets. The acrobats ride the elephants like horsemen. The clowns frantically run across the ring. Some of them take slapstick tumbles into the sawdust where an elephant swoops low and buzzes them. Other clowns pounce on an opportunity and grab the elephants by the tail and soar into the air. The parents, children, and old people are on their feet cheering and clapping. It is stunning. Then I get an idea. I reach up and grab the tail of an elephant as it passes by. It lifts me off the ground. It turns back to take note of me and nods. A clown reaches out to me and pulls me onto the elephant's back. The elephant continues along its course, arcing and diving. I'm hurling through the air, bobbing and weaving. We come close to the other elephants, but we never collide. We spin through the air, twisting and turning. I'm holding on. My knuckles are sore. My heart is pounding. A broad smile appears on my face. As the applause roars, the elephant slows down and pauses over the bleachers to let me off. I let go of his tail, and I drop gently back onto the bleacher, unharmed. The elephant nods and takes off into the air. The entire audience is clapping and cheering. My hands still sting. It was stunning. I am going back next year. <laughs>